All right, SoCal Marine here. This is a video I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, so a lot of you guys living in the middle of the country and whatever, you get, for various reasons, you might end up with milky oil in your engine, but that doesn't mean the engine is bad. Uh, a lot of times water comes in through a carburetor that's off, uh, runs past the rings. You could have a head with a very small crack. I've had numerous motors with problems not related to the block, like, who knows so I'm gonna show you what I do at the shop I've done this many times it's very effective it's a little bit redneck but man this is gonna get you out of the hole quick especially if you're in salt water which we have a boat right now here that's got this problem so the first thing this is a small block Chevy all right uh, you're just gonna have to find an oil port there's either one on the side of the block here or there's one on the top there they're the same thread get yourself one of these shutoff valves 18 NPT from Amazon um, stainless steel then you get some clear hose like this um, and then I thread it over here it's it's hard there's no way you'll pull this out and I'm gonna explain this to you now what you're gonna now bear in mind you've got impellers just take care of your stuff now do this with a cold engine um, this only works if the engines running right if the engines not running this is not gonna work okay what you're gonna use is you're gonna use the oil pump to get the sludge out of your motor and you're gonna flush it with a mixture of diesel and used oil three four times right don't change the filter at this point it's not necessary so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove either one of these oil senders on the side of the block and you're going to screw this in or you can do it off the top over here it doesn't really make a difference right now what you're going to do is you're going to shut this and when this goes into your bucket make sure you've got a little clamp holding this because when this pumps oil this tends to want to lift up and spray oil everywhere right and I'm gonna run you through the sequence. So the first thing you wanna do is just go and add about a quart or two of diesel instantly, right off the bat, pour it into the oil fill hole. What that does is it thins the oil, it helps it um, dissolve that cream. You can't just use straight oil, it's too thick. It only gets liquid when it's hot and we're not gonna run the engine till it's hot. You don't even really need to have the water flowing unless you have impellers, because we're gonna run it for 45 seconds, normally under normal conditions with the valve shut with a, a diesel mixture in the oil when you're finished with that you open this valve you run the motor for maybe 15 seconds until you see the bubbles shut the motor off if you're a man alone you can use the shift interrupt just push it down it'll kill the motor because you don't want to run this without oil as soon as this throws bubbles out shut the motor off close the valve again fill it up now with um 30% diesel to oil ratio. Now I keep good clean used oil. If I do an oil change on my truck, I sometimes have a batch of uh, good used oil that's clean, get it from a friend. You know, just take the used oil. It's perfect because it's dark, which is nice. It helps you see how much cream is left. Um, and just keep repeating that. So you run the motor for a minute with a 30% diesel dilution in the oil. And then you run it for 15 seconds and pump it all out and shut the motor off. Fill it up again. And that's going to continuously pump out that sludge, the white stuff from your motor. Depending on how bad it is and, and how bad of an exhaust leak you have, you know, I'd say at most five, you should almost be at perfectly clean oil. What this is doing is it's taking the sludge out of the bearings, which is critical, and it's replacing it with something cleaner than sludge. That's why it's critical. Um, and so you just do that over and over. I've done this so many times I've forgotten to count, but it's really effective. It's quick. It's fast. You're not sitting there pumping sludge. And uh, that's why it's critical initially if it's really sludgy uh, to put a, a good amount of diesel in. doesn't matter if it's this high off the dipstick. Just run that thing. Let that stuff mix because a lot of it's going to be in the oil pan. Just make sure you never run the motor the exhausts keep checking the exhausts you know they can run without water for a minute at a time easy by the time you've done with this they've cooled a bit obviously don't go and cook your exhausts i mean don't be an idiot but a minute to two minutes depending on how cold it is you're fine don't forget your impellers be responsible but this is an excellent way to flush a motor full of sludge thanks for watching and uh, have a good day